I just love my fans. Today, we're going to continue the build of our silent music PC. And we're going to be installing a whole whack of Noctua silent premium fans. These are all four pin fans. Uh, my guess is we're going to install way too many, but that's okay for now. We're also going to take a look at the fan that was provided with our case manufacturer. We're going to rip that out and replace it with a 120 mil Noctua PWM fan. Let's get started. In a previous video, we've installed the pulling fan for the CPU cooler. And that's going to pull air from the CPU and send it out the back door of the case. And so what, today we're going to install a pushing fan, which is optional, and it will pull air from the front of the case and uh, push it through the heat sink fins, so those tiny pieces of metal. So here there's four clips that come with the Noctua uh, CPU cooler, and two are for the fan, which is also included, the NFA9. And if you want to buy a second fan, which I've done, the, those two clips come with the cooler. And you see here that the uh, we're going to offset the height of this particular fan so that it doesn't conflict with the DIMM, the, uh, the RAM chips. If we zoom in here on the motherboard, you'll see there's a four-pin header labeled CPU OPT. OPT is for optional, the second CPU fan. And right behind that screwdriver you saw, there's four metal pins that are sticking up from the motherboard. So we'll use this cable from the fan to plug in there. Now even though there's four pins on the motherboard, this particular motherboard will accept three pin fans as well. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, <laughs> put the brakes on. I don't know, did you catch it? In the last couple scenes, I made two mistakes. Actually, I made one mistake, I just did it twice. Very consistent. Uh, and I want to know, did you catch it? This is majorly important when you're dealing with the flow of air within the case. If you caught it and you've got an eagle eye, I want you to write the word eagle, E-A-G-L-E, -E, in the comments down below. I'm very interested in who's paying attention. Later on in the video, I'll comment as to what I did. When you buy a chassis, it's going to come with at least one fan. Some brands use decent fans, but most use generic OEM fans, and you'll want to replace them. This case includes an assembly. So at the front, it has an air filter followed by an intake fan. The case comes with an AVC OEM fan that you see here. <coughs> oh boy. So already I'm going to need to clean out this <laughs> air filter. I'm replacing the front chassis fan, which draws in room temperature air from the room and blows it into the PC. AVC is a decent company, but I'm going to replace it with a 120 mil Noctua fan. So this is model NF-S12A. All the details will be included in the video description below. The fan comes with a few useful cables. In fact, these cables come with all Noctua fans. So one is the extension cable, the second is a Y splitter cable, and the third is a low noise adapter. The LNA might be useful if you don't have uh, software to control the speed of the fan. Maybe you're not using four pin. I'm pulling the fan from the header of the mother motherboard and you notice how long and thin this cable is. Now I'm putting the fan, the Noctua fan, back into the housing. And it looks as though it's too fat. Needs a little diet there. No matter what I do, I can't fit it. And it 
and when I compare it to the AVC fan, the only difference is these four corners. Noctua includes silicone corners so that it reduces the amount of vibrations uh, between the hard plastic and metal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand these down and hopefully they will fit. Oh man, that was quite the ordeal. So I tried sanding down the rubber on the Noctua just to give it a little bit more room because this front cover is a dust cover and fan holder but it has very little play, very little room. And so I had to steal from the filter and so I crimped down all the four pieces of metal and then had to sand down the, the uh, plastic and then finally this has got uh, this is going to work now. Uh, I've tried it once so I know it's going to work. So the air filter can still move back and forth. It's a little tight but that's fine. Now I'll take the fan so that it's going to blow air into the case and see fits into the assembly. Tight, but I'm happy. Now I'll just screw it into place. So I'm going to feed the short cable into the hole of the case and then fasten this assembly. Just There's two screws that I'll just make sure they're closed. I can easily unscrew them to uh, clean out the air filter later on. I'm pulling on the cable at the same time just so that it's not going to pinch it break the shielding. Now because it's a short cable I'm going to use the extension cable that came with the Noctua fan so that it's long enough to reach the header on the motherboard. So there it is, extension, and then I just take the four pin side and plug it into the header. I'm going to install two exhaust fans going out the back. This is the Noctua A8 fan, which is 80 millimeters in diameter. So it's rather small. We're going to use these silicone mounts rather than metal screws, which, which will uh, minimize any vibration noise. So hard plastic against metal is a bad thing. So we're just going to pull these mounts through the holes from the outsides. We're going to pull on them pretty hard to make sure they're snugly in place. All right. So starting on the bottom, I'll pull the mounts through the holes, the bottom of the fan, just to fasten it in place. A little bit of fiddly work. I'm happy to report that none of the silicone mounts broke off during the installation. I was worried about that, but they're pretty sturdy.
<laughs> All right, that's just a little bit painful. So they call them silicon pads that show up in the corner of the fans. So I see that there's two missing on the top here. So I'll just put those into place. So I'm going to go ahead and install the second exhaust fan. Ta-da! Actually, this was harder than I thought. It's sandwiched in between the power supply and the other exhaust fan. I've taken the Y cable that comes with each fan and you see here on the motherboard is the header for the chassis fan number one. So I'm just connecting the Y cable to the header. And then I'll take the cable for each of the fans and connect it to the Y cable. And that's about it. Okay, it's time to come clean. So what we're trying to do inside the PC case is move air and move air from the front to the back and from the bottom to the top. Front to back so the air, the hot air, is moving away from us. So what did I do wrong? Well, when I was installing the two CPU fans, I didn't look at airflow at all. And it turns out that both fans were facing towards the front of the case. So if all the air is going one way and these two decided to buck the trend, really we're creating a swirl of hot air within the case. And that's no good. At the bottom of every fan, you'll see an arrow. And that arrow will be pointing towards the direction of airflow. But most of us look at the front, uh, there's a sticker on one side and not on the other. And if we're looking at the sticker, that means it's illuminating it. It's refreshing us with information. It's blowing on our face. And that's how I remember it. And a lot of people remember it that way. If you caught my boo-boo, congratulations. You've got an eagle eye. If you like this topic, please like the video. If you think this has been total bogus, please dislike the video. Maybe in the comment, just say what you'd rather have seen today. Uh, next time, what we're going to do is we're going to peel back these fans because my guess is we've got way too many fans. It's still a really quiet machine, but if we want to optimize it, we might need to remove some or move them to different areas of the case. I'll see you next time. Hey, hey, hey.